Today's video, I'm going to be dropping a four-play mini scheme that is meant to be audible to into if you're running this on a game. So this is in the Colts playbook, and this is going to be out of the bunch strong, nasty formation. Let me know what you guys think of this little mini scheme here. It's going to be fairly simple, but you're going to be able to get a lot of stuff accomplished within this offense. The audibles that I recommend for this is mesh flat spot, RPO read bubble, Y trail, and dagger. Now you're going to be audibling into this formation every single play out of the regular gun bunch. It's a real quick audible, as you can see here. And the first play that I want to go over is really designed specifically to kind of help counter switch stick. And what we're going to do here is we're going to post the tight end. We're going to streak our slot receiver. We're going to stem this corner route all the way down, and we're going to snap the ball. And this route built into the play here on the left-hand side is a drag slash sit route, meaning it'll oftentimes sit against zone coverage. But our first read here is always going to be the seam streak, but then we're going to quickly progress our eyes over here to this corner route. And what we're really looking for on this corner route is do they switch stick to go defend it, or do they just basically allow us to throw the route? So you're going to see here that when we switch stick to go defend it, it's going to basically be oftentimes they're going to switch stick onto the flat defender. And if they do that, then we can easily just check down to this underneath route, have a nice little table route underneath to be able to check down to. However, if they do switch stick to this route, another thing that is oftentimes going to be open is this post to the tight end, especially against one of the more meta coverages in this game, which is some type of cover three cloud type of coverage, something like this is something that you might see. And what oftentimes is gonna happen whenever you see a coverage like this is the cover three on the backside is gonna break down against this post. So what you're gonna see is they switch stick there. And oftentimes you're able to throw this post in between defenders over the middle of the field. Another thing that we have going for us on this play and particularly is we also have this little flat route. And this flat route is gonna be helpful because one of the more popular things to do, especially on bunch side this year, is to utilize a soft squat zone because it's going to match the corner route. However, because we have this running back table route, that soft squat is going to eventually bite. I don't know why it didn't bite on that. Um, if it doesn't bite, obviously, you could just throw the table route. But the soft squat zone is going to eventually bite onto the running back. And then what you're going to see here is that this when we audible to mesh flat spot, again, fairly simple. We just send the corner down, post the tight end, streak the slot. You're going to see here, oh, he bites on the running back. And now we're able to throw our deep corner over the top for a big play. So while this is a fairly simple play, it's really effective, especially for just breaking down different types of zone coverage. So what your opponent's ultimately going to do is they're going to eventually start to call some man-to-man -man coverage, which is why I use the play wide trail. The only adjustment we're going to make here is we're just going to stem the slot corner out all the way down, and it's always our first read. A lot of times against man coverage, this is going to get open, and you're going to be able just to manipulate the man coverage with a simple corner route that does a good job of beating most coverages in this game. However, if that corner route is defended, let's say they get a good jam on the receiver or they ultimately switch stick to it, we immediately want to work this backside combo between our drag and our trail route. A lot of times that drag route can get nice man-to-man -man separation for us, or even the trail route could be a route that we want to utilize against that because oftentimes the user might jump the, the, uh, the uh, little running back route and then we can throw this trail route with an inside pass lead or inside freeform against man-to-man -man coverage. Another thing that can happen, especially in man coverage, again, is we're giving them a lot to worry about with some of our other routes on the play, that potentially this um, post route can actually beat man coverage to the inside. Now, as you saw right there, if they do have like a half defender or some type of zone defender, you're going to need to be a little bit more cautious in terms of how you pass this this route. What I typically like to do is just wait till the, he passes the safety's face. And then normally this is going to be free, as you see right here, pass like down inside. And you can click on and oftentimes make an aggressive catch. Another thing, though, that is popular is for people to go with some type of, of cover zero type of coverage and if they do that this is one of those great routes because again if they're switch sticking on the half to go guard the corner route or stuff like that then that's going to leave this post route isolated one-on-one -on -one. and it's one of the most consistent man-beating routes in the game 
So you have wide trail as kind of your main man beating concept. You have mesh flat spot as your main zone beating concept. And then you also have the play RPO read bubble. That's kind of just your main little run play. You can always look out here to the right side, see if that bubble screen's open. If not, the game will automatically hand the ball off to the running back. But one of the things you have in this RPO read bubble is if you hit the X button or the A button on Xbox, you'll be able to keep the ball with your quarterback. As you can see, obviously you're reading that defender. If that defender stands up, then you're going to want to, um, if that defender stands up, then you're going to want to obviously hand the ball to the running back. But if he crashes down like that, this can just be a quarterback read option basically. Now obviously you'd want to slide or play on conservative, but you kind of see the idea uh, in terms of this run. Another really valuable piece of this run play is when your opponent starts to go to different types of blitzes to try to throw you off or to try to speed you up. This is also really good for any kind of like 6-1 or 3-4 odd type of defense because those defenses notoriously struggle with, um, with a play like this. You can always just look out here and say, oh, my bubble screen's open. I'm just going to throw that and take the easy yards that my opponent gives me. And then the last play in this little mini scheme here is the play dagger. This play is just an all around good power play and quick snap play because you only need one hot route to make it good. You're just gonna simply hot route the tight end to a post and you're gonna snap the ball as quickly as you possibly can. Your first couple reads are gonna be looking to those seam streaks and if they're shading their yellows down or they're shading underneath or they have five yard hook curls, there's a lot of reasons why these seam streaks will be open, obviously based on how we've been kind of using our other plays. So you always want to look and see, can I throw these seam streaks? They're super effective this year. You want to try to take advantage of the seam streaks as long as your opponent's going to start to give them to you. And again, they pretty much have to shade underneath because if they don't, you're going to be able to throw this drag against a variety of different coverages. As you see here to the left side, we can throw that seam streak. So you're always kind of at least looking at those and seeing, are those a good option? Is that a good option to throw? And if so, you know, can I throw it? And then the last thing that you have here is this play is really good against switch stick because if they switch stick off of one of those deep blue zones, then they're going to be in a situation where those deep blue zones are obviously going to give up a touchdown to one of your seam streaks. So if they switch stick to try to take the tight end route away, then you're going to have something there. And then the other thing that you can do here is you can throw the tight end across the formation pretty much at any point, and it's one of the better routes in the game. It's going to beat man. It's going to beat zone. This is just an all-around really, really, really good, just simple quick snap play that you can run against pretty much any coverage in the game, and you're going to have some level of success. A lot of people will give up this little drag underneath, and you can just take your easy yardage underneath, which is then going to force them to play a little bit more aggressive in their coverages, and then that's where you can start to hit them over the top with your tight end post or your seam streaks, kind of just depending on, on what they leave open. But as you can see, this post is super effective at beating a variety of different coverages. So this is our simple little bunch strong nasty mini scheme. If you want to learn more about this offense and Colts in general, I think this is probably one of the better offenses in the game. And if you want to get my entire Colts offensive ebook, make sure that you join our school community. It's only $10 to become a member of school and it's going to get you access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates that are rolling out after any patches. So make sure that you're in the school community for the entire ebooks. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for school, the link is going to be down in the description down below.